Sev here. I'm excited. We're on Forgecraft 2! And we're finally ready to get started. I love all of your challenge suggestions from episode zero. And I am super stoked. Let me turn the game down a little bit here. I am super stoked to get started. What I'm gonna do first though is I need to gather a few materials. So I'm gonna go mining. Um mining's a little boring. So I'm not gonna show that off too much. Uh, I did make a mining pit down here. Of course, when I log on the server, it starts to rain. Welcome to Forgecraft. Um, but I made a little mining pit down here. I'm going to go mining, uh, grab some basic things that we're going to need to get into uh, Tinker's Construct and whatnot. Oh, wow, that rain sound. Anyway, I'll be right back after I have mined out a good hunk of earth. Dude! Look what I just came across. I, uh, I just started mining down here. You can see I've gone down quite a way. I've gotten quite a few resources. Check it out. Right away, right off the bat. Oh yeah, an abandoned mine shaft. Like a boss. Oh man, anything back there? No. Let's explore this a little bit. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? You know what I am noticing about, um... Forgecraft 2 is the severe lack of mobs. I'm wondering if it's just because I'm so used to playing in like super hard mode or something. But oh gosh, on my mini map right there, those are the first two mobs I've ever seen on Forgecraft 2. Besides uh, when I was doing that time lapse video, I think there was like a zombie at Morvi's house. And that's it. But the two skeletons there together. Hmm. Could it be a spawner? Could it be? Could it be? I think it could. But we'll find that out later, probably. Oh, what's down here? Oh, I made that hole. I should know. I feel like I missed some iron back there. Uh. I probably did. Let's see. There it is. God, I am just not focused. I need to focus on the task at hand, which is mining. I'm very excited, though, because it is very possible for us to come across a chest. And in said chest could be something super sexy and super exciting. So I'm going to keep mining. If I come across a chest, gosh darn it, I'm going to let you know. I'll be right back. Oh my God. Check it out. We have a chest. How freaking exciting is that? God, there's so much stuff to mine. What is that? I don't even know what that is. What? Mon... Monazit ore? What the heck is that from? I have never seen that before in my entire existence. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Chest. What is in the chest? Let's find out. Oh, not terribly much, but we do have uh, some gems, some of this appetite, some peridot, melon seeds, some tracks. Always a good thing. You know what? Let's just take this too, just in case. You never know. You never know when you're going to need some uh, some cartridge or anything like that. Very exciting here, mining. Oh, man. I'm going to get so many materials. I'm so excited to start Tinker's Construct. Tinker's Construct is a mod that I really haven't dabbled in. I mean, it's not like it's a new mod. It's been around for a little while, but I haven't really given it a fair shake. Uh, I always sort of just jump straight for, you know, modular power suit, the power glove, or or something like that, and I, and I feel bad. So I am going to go crazy with Tinker's Construct. You know, you know, just learning about it. We do have a book with us, the Materials in You book, that is specifically for Tinker's Construct. We're gonna be using that here in a minute uh, for crafting our first few... Oh, oh, by the way, nobody's on Forgecraft 2. They're all over there on Forgecraft 1, leaving me here alone. I see how it is. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm very excited to get uh, started on Tinker's Construct. 
I want to give it its day in court. And there's so many exciting things you can do with it. Also, there are a fair number of challenges that you guys have put forward uh, dealing with Tinker's Construct. Well, what am I picking up here? Aluminum. Is this the aluminum that you can't do anything with? Quite possibly. So let's keep picking it up. <laughs> it's a great idea. I have an idea. Let's keep picking up the stuff we can't use. Oh boy. What is this? What is that? I have never seen like half this stuff before. Cinnabar ore. Forgecraft 2 is going to be exciting. So much new stuff I've never seen before. So many new mods to explore. I am just super, super, super excited. Alright. I hope I find another chest. I'll be right back. Nom, 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 nom. Oh boy. I love iron. Iron is a Sev's best friend. Oh crap. Oh! Well, we were out of torches, but check it out. Chest number two. Maybe we'll have better luck this time. Please! Okay. 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 Amber. Some ashes. Ruby creosote. Melon seeds again. Some copper that's already happy, happy, happy. You know what? I think I need to make a trip up. Well, what am I going to do with saplings? Give me the rubies. That copper would be very convenient. Give me the copper. I'll remember that the rest is there. Okay. I am definitely out of uh, torches right now. But that's not going to stop me. Ain't nobody going to stop me. We got this. I would really love to find a portal gun is all I'm saying. I mean, this early? How great would that be to find a portal gun? My god! It'd be freaking fantastic. Should I keep going through the dark? I swear, there are no mobs. You know what? Should I ask? Um, what difficulty is SC2 set at? Let's see if anybody knows from Forgecraft 1. Because... Really? <laughs> really? So they tell me this is set to hard. Really? I don't know. This is actually very uncomfortable. I am so used to being plummeted. Plummeted? That is not even the word I was supposed to use there. Pummeled! Plummeted. Pummeled by monsters all over the place playing in hard single-player worlds that this is just very unnormal very uncomfortable I, I I I miss mobs I can't believe I'm saying it I miss copious amounts of mobs trying to hit me in the face I don't know if you can see this it's very dark because I'm doing this torchless that's right, we're doing a torchless run. Because... Well, I don't have any torches. Screw you, minecart! i can make one of you later. I'm gonna grab some more iron. Okay. I guess it's time to head back to the surface. And get started. Jeez, I was really hoping for some, uh... Some chest action here. But I guess not. Damn. Let's see here. You can see we have... Soren, Direwolf. Who else was there? Um, Mysterious Ages. Neptune has been on uh, Forgecraft 1 today. Very exciting stuff. I love these guys. They are so much fun. And um, unfortunately, I think I'm lost. Ooh! Emerald? Yep, that would be an emerald. Screw you, Gravel! Unneeded. All right. Oh, I've been here. I know exactly where I'm at. Uh, and why didn't I mine all this iron? Derpster. Oh. I really have a full stack of iron right now? Boy. 
Okay, well this is actually not so bad. Uh, throw away that jungle wood, we can get like a ton of it up there. I'm not used to throwing stuff away either, so this is actually a little weird. But I'm trying to do all of this in one trip. Horrible, horrible, horrible idea. I know. Alright, let's see what we got. I think, I think we're pretty gosh darn good on the old resources. So I think it's time to start heading back up. Let's see. But what if there's a cart? There's always the what ifs. What if there's a cart? Right on the other side of this gravel. Okay, if there's no cart, we head back up. Well, I don't know yet. Okay, if there's no cart, we head back up. But I haven't really seen if there's a cart. I'm just using excuses now to keep staying down here longer. Nothing. Boy, this is actually really cool. I'm gonna explore this a lot off, um, off camera. Because, damn! There is so much stuff here to be mined out, and I want all of it. Every single bit of it, I want it. I wonder if I'm gonna have to increase the brightness here. Eh. It's all, it's all good. Give me the Cinnabar. Because I don't know what it's for, so let's grab it. You never know. You never know when something like that's going to be completely useless. There's some quartz. Oh, more Cinnabar! Ha! Girl, you taste like a Cinnabar! That is not how that song goes. At all. Also, I guess I need to sing my songs on YouTube out of tune. So I don't get sued by whichever artist made that fantastic track. <laughs> Girl, you taste like a Cinnabar. Alright. Oh! I knew if I was persistent enough, I was going to find a chest. And in that chest... Damn. Would not be a portal gun. Tanzanite, topaz, coal, co coal coke, very useful. I can make more of those. What else can I make more of? Oh dear. I kind of shouldn't have brought some of this stuff with me. The pile of ashes, I have a ton of that. What else do I, this is just, this is a beautiful collection of awesome stuff here. Also redstone. Redstone is more important than dirt. Tanzanite. I don't even know what that's used for, but I can tell you what it's more important than a broken steel pickaxe. So I have this bronze pickaxe here. Okay. All right, before, oh God, there's uranium. I'm heading up. I am now heading up. I will see you at the surface. All right, I'm excited. We're back up at the top. It is starting to become daytime and I have a ton of iron, which means I think we're gonna be able to make some iron tools from Tinker's Construct. Yes, now we have this tome called Materials and You. Let's give that a looky-loo. All right, so we need to make all of this stuff. Okay, so we need patterns, we need a stencil table, a part crafter, a pattern chest, and a tool station, and it's all made of wood. Dear Lord. We're gonna need a lot of blank patterns, I think. By the way, there's a humming noise right now. It is 80 degrees in my house as we speak. The air conditioner is on. I apologize for that humming sound. I, I was going to keep it off, but oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Ridiculous heat here in the middle of Texas. All right, here we go. Nice. So we'll get eight blink patterns. Hopefully that's enough. I don't really know what I'm doing, so... All right, here's the first thing. I believe there was one that had a plank and a pattern on top. Perfect. The stencil table. Oh! We just got a second book. Nice. Oh, sweet. All right, so let's put down the first one here. Oh, give me that. What is that? I don't know, but I want it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's cotton. We're getting some cotton seeds. Oh, what the heck is that? Corn? Oh, jeez. Get a lot of seeds when we didn't even know. All right, so there it is, the stencil table. All right, we'll figure that out here in a minute. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Uh, the part crafter is a log. 
The chest is a chest, and then we need a crafting table. All right, so we need a log. We need a chest. Uh, let's do it over here. We need a chest, and we also need a crafting bench. And all of these go underneath a stencil, or a pattern. Oh, what am I doing? Chest, it's the pattern chest. Um, I did log already. Okay, and then here we go, we have the tool station. I think that was it, right? Was this it, just these two? What? Oh, I already made one. All right, happy, happy, happy. All right, so then we have the part builder. We have the tool station. Oh my. I believe the part builder requires the chest. Is that right? Yes, okay, perfect. All right, so let's go through this. So this was just sort of our getting started. These are just the recipes to build stuff. Oh, we're not gonna be dealing with this today, although this stuff looks really cool, and we have a challenge dealing with it. Oh boy, gonna be exciting. This book should tell us what we need to do. All right, exciting stuff here. How to make tools. So for a pickaxe, we need a head, a rod, and a binding. I also want to make all these other different types of tools as well. Oh, dude, look at all the different things. Holy crap, they have so many different... Frying pan! Heavy weapon that uses sheer weight to stun foes. Dear Lord. And then, of course, we have the materials and their modifiers. So every material, as I understand it, every material has a durability, just like you would normally find on a material. But the handle modifies that durability. So if I had an oak wood plank with an iron handle, it would be 1.3 times 59 to get the actual durability of the weapon. And I'm not really entirely sure what the other uh, the other stuff does. Oh my god, what is slimy mud? Oh my god, look at all this stuff! Dear Lord! Auto repair speed. Redstone dust makes it go faster. I'm all about that. Emeralds, more durability. Sweet. Diamonds, okay, I, blah. I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to just, we need to calm our tits and focus. Now I have a ton of iron, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some iron tools. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this smelting. Uh, if we can find it. Here we go, 24 iron. I don't think we need that much. Uh, let's just do eight, which is one piece of coal or charcoal. Let's use up the coal because well, I ran out of charcoal making torches. All right, and while that's going, let's go ahead and make some patterns. So I think I put the blank patterns in the stencil table. Ah, yes, and then I get to pick what I want. All right, so what I want is a... What the hell's a creeper face doing in there? What I want is, oh my god, here we go. I want a pickaxe head. I want the rod. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, that's not it either. Crap. Where's the, oh, we need this. We need the tool binding. And then we also need the rod. Crap, where the heck's the rod? Maybe there is no rod. Where's the frickin' rod? Do you just make the rod? Guard pattern. Crossbar. What is that? Pan. The damn pan. The board. The knife. The chisel head. Tough tool rod pattern. I don't think that's it. Tough binding. Large plate. Broad axe. Wow, there's so much stuff. A scythe. A broad shovel, a large blade, a hammerhead, a tool rod. There we go. Finally, tool rod. Right? Oh, it was. If I had just gone back the other way, would have nailed it. All right. And so here we go. Inside of our part builder, I believe if I take, oh, I can take my patterns and stick them in here. I can keep all of my patterns in here like a boss. I want my pickaxe here. 
and I go like that, and there we are. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I can do my, my head. I've got my head. Give me my head. My rod, which will also produce an iron chunk because a rod only uses half of an ingot. So you get the chunk with it. And then we're also gonna do a tool bind. All, we're doing everything in iron. What, is, what does this do? Um, what is an iron binding? Oh, oh, we can just use the chunk. Oh, nice, we can just use the chunk there. Sweet. Um, what is, we should look up what the binding is gonna do for us. Cause the binding, I think, it decides how many different attributes or something. Let's find this out real fast here. The tool binding, I can't click that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the binding is gonna do for me. Um, I guess we'll just put it together and see what happens, right? Yeah, I don't know. Paper, we should, there's a challenge right there. We're gonna do that one day. I think it's these. I thought the binding had something to do with that. Anyway, you guys wanna help me out? Tell me what the heck the binding is for. How's that? In the comments down below, what the heck is the binding? Uh, let's check one more time over here. Pfft, useless. All right, anyways, let's put all this together. Uh, whoop. Here we are. So I'm going to make a pickaxe. So for the pickaxe, I need the iron head. I need the binding, I need the rod, and there we go, modifiers. That, you know what, that's probably what it is. The iron binding means I have three modifiers. Something like that. What are we gonna name this? The Pingus Pick. Oh, I love that, the Pingus Pick. It has reinforced one. Sweet. That's freaking awesome. And it, mining level of redstone. I am all about that. Let's take the Pingus pick. Love it. That is freaking awesome. You know what else I want to make right away is a shovel and a hatchet. And I can make those out of iron as well. So let's go ahead and craft those up super fast. Um, oh, I guess I'm going to need to... Uh, so there's the shovel head. We're going to need to make one more uh, stencil here. I guess I can make two more because I have the materials for it. Put those in there. And we're going to need the axe head. What else can we just... Eh. Should we do a sword? Oh, we're going to need like a guard and everything for our sword. Maybe we'll lay off on the sword for a moment. Keep that away. Alright, let's do this real fast. A shovel head. Nice. And an axe head. Extra nice, and then I think we just need two rods. And if I just go like that, we got one rod, two rods. Beautiful! We'll go over here to the, uh, the tool station. We'll select the shovel, iron shovel head with the shovel itself. Look at that. We have all these modifiers remaining as well. I'm really excited to jump into the modifiers. That part excites me. And the hatchet. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Aw Did I get a new book yet? Dang, I thought there was another book maybe that I would get. All right, let's go to the modifier section and see what we can do here. What can I do with modifier? Adding diamonds, I have an emerald. 50% more durability, is it worth it? Probably not. Adding redstone, I have that as well. Ooh, luck. Adds fortune or looting. Sick! I'm all about that. I am all about, oh. Oh, we can add additional modifiers as well. I think you can also do another, yeah, another star. There you go. Sweet, awesome. Now, we have tools from Tinker's Construct. I think we've done pretty freaking well for the day. But you know what we haven't done? A challenge. And there's one challenge I think we should do right now. Is this quicksand? Oh, we can use our new tool. It is not. That is regular. Oh, it is quicksand. Let me actually pick this up real fast. Because I will herp a derp right into this. Oh, baby. I love this tool. 
I have already fallen in love with Dinker's Construct because these are repairable. Oh, I'm in love. You know what else I'm in love with? Challenges. And you know what one of my challenges is? Oh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> make sure you like the video if you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see much more Forgecraft 2 action. I'm excited to get started on all this stuff. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'll see you next time. Peace.